Okay, this morning's webinar from Profound Marketing is on the basics of WordPress. How to log in and moving around the dashboard, the WordPress dashboard, once you get into your main administration uh, dashboard area. So I'm going to pull up a current client site that we're working on. Uh, it's called AZ Homes for Scottsdale uh, .com WP admin. That is the login. URL that you're going to log into for your website in most cases. So it's going to be your web address.com forward slash WP dash admin. I'm now going to go to that, that location and I've already logged into this website once before. What's nice about WordPress is it will remember your username and password uh, that we give you when we set up your site. So you just type in your username, your password, hit remember me. I use Mozilla. Uh, I know Mozilla and uh, Internet Explorer both ask if you want to store your username or password. I always default to yes, but I click remember me and log in. Uh, when we give you guys a website, um, it's common for you guys to, or it's common to find that the, the password changes after the fact once we give it to you. Our intention is to give you a password that's complicated. You want to keep that password. We don't want to make easy passwords because WordPress websites are, are very visible to hackers. Uh, they're 14, 15% of all websites online and hackers go out and look for WordPress sites to see if they can hack into usernames and passwords because most site owners change them and make them pretty easy to get into. So keep them complicated. If you do change them, please let us know, especially if we're maintaining your site. If you don't, let us know the changes, we can't get in and do the updates that we need to. So I'm now gonna log in. This is the inside dashboard of WordPress uh, for AZ Homes for Sale Scottsdale. I'm gonna just start in the upper, sort of the upper left-hand corner and work down into uh, this main area and then work down the, the side, dash, side of the dashboard here so you get a sense of what's on this uh, dashboard. Most of the information that you need is going to be limited to the very top portion where it says post. Your, your initial login might look something like this where you just get a, a long line of all these drop down menus collapsed. So it might look something like that and then you just mouse over Let's say you, put, you mouse over posts and that'll expand the posts where it says all posts, add new posts, categories, post tags. Media is a, one way you can add new uh, PDFs or new images, uh, different things you want to add to your website. The one thing you can add into your media library is a video. We don't recommend that you host your video on your website. We recommend that you host it at YouTube and then just use their embed code in your website. Uh, hosting videos on your website uh, takes up a lot of memory and bandwidth on your website. And if uh, it, it probably will lead to extra charges with us if we're hosting your website because of the amount of space you're taking up on, a, on, a, on our servers. So please uh, use... Um, YouTube to host your videos. If you have any questions about that, Steven Garner is probably the best in our company, or he is the best in video in our company, uh, followed by Dave Mason and then myself. So any questions, contact them. Moving down the line, uh, links. We're, we don't have this hooked up in any of the sites that we issue, but basically this is what, the, what used to be called, or still is called the blog roll, but it's where in the sidebar of a, of a I'm going to go to her website right now, AZ Homes for Sale. And here, this this was is a sidebar. And in, in the past, it was very common to have a list of links that would just say blog roll, and then it would be outbound links to friends, to resources, to, you know, all kinds of things. We uh, long ago stopped putting these on websites because they really hurt your website uh, for the most part because it gives away a lot of linking juice, 
that um, when you give away link juice, it actually takes your website down in ranking. So we don't encourage them. It's okay to give away links, just not massive quantities of them. So back into her um, dashboard. Moving down, so I'm going to close up the links. I'm also going to close up the media. We're not going to get into that at the moment, but I will open up pages. And this is where uh, I'll open up pages and see what it looks like. So, so you see what the pages dashboard looks like. Now, this is every page on her website. This will give you a running total of the number of total pages she has. And then it'll also give you the number of pages that are published as well as any draft pages that were started but never uh, published. Um, that you can, you know, if I click on drafts, there it is. These are two that never got published, uh, but I could go back and publish them if I wanted to. But right now we're, we're not actually doing that. So here I am on page, you know, the whole category of pages to go in and look at a page. Basically, you just, your mouse over it, you click at it, and there's the page uh, in what we call HTML mode, which is the sort of the best way to open up a page. Um, although visual does show you what it looks like, uh, the HTML for a variety of reasons, uh, I'm not going to get into it right now, but you want to try to work as much as you can in HTML. Uh, if not, you can work in visual. Um, you know, and you'll you'll learn in future reasons or future classes that we give why you don't necessarily want to open up everything in visual. Uh, but for the meantime, this is uh, what a page looks like once it's been uh, entered in and it's uh, sitting here, um, you know, on our site in the dashboard, you know, ready for to ready for edits, etc. OK. So I'm, I didn't do anything on this page, but WordPress is very good about reminding you, hey, if you did some changes, do you want to leave the page uh, or stay on the page? Typically, if you leave, if you didn't do any edits and you leave the page, it defaults back to the last saved version. If you want to stay on the page, oh yeah, shoot, I forgot to do something. Then you hit update. That'll save it to the latest versions, including your latest changes, and then you can leave the page. So I'm going to now leave and boom, it tells me I can leave. All right. Next is comments. Very common questions we get about comments. Um, as your website gets out there and you start blogging more and more, you're going to get comments and comments are most of the comments you're going to get are spam. Again, hackers are out there uh, trolling the internet for websites and what really is going on is they're looking for backlinks. So they're coming out doing what we call comment spam and they're going by WordPress websites or blogs and they're sticking in, you know, BS comments. And hopefully they're looking to, for an author or for a website owner who doesn't know how to manage their website, you know, they get excited because there's a comment, they approve the comment and then they've just given a backlink to somebody who's spammed their site. So, you have to really pay attention to your comments as they come in. You'll learn them over time, which ones are, are worth publishing and which ones are not. Um, and it's good to get comments. So if you're sending your website out to a list of you know your clients, have them go in and make some comments on your website so that you can then approve those comments. Those help your website rank. And you do want to pay attention to the comments you do get. So if there are valid comments, you'd go ahead and approve them and, and, you know, interact, respond back to the person who's commenting on your site if it's a legitimate comment. Most of you will be installing what we call Gravity Forms, which is a very powerful forms uh, plugin, which gives you a, a wide variety of options for different types of landing pages and you want to do some lead capture. So on here, she has edit forms and she's got a, a great deal of different uh, forms on her site that she has attached to different pages. And you can see she's had a ton of people look at her contact Ivy Capo real estate uh, with six entries. 
she's had what is my home worth and you can you can actually click in and look at the entries of who contacted you you know in the future or after they've contacted you you can come in here and look at who's contacted her uh, or contacted you through the different forms that you have on your website so very powerful we have actually some training on using gravity forms and we will be re revisiting it in a new video shortly so it's basically your you're editing a form, say I want to duplicate. Uh, it's very easy to start from the form we give you to duplicate it and move on to the next form uh, to implement it on your site. Um, but I'm not going to go into that anymore at this point. Let's see, Genesis. This is all about the theme that we've given you. Uh, there's different types of theme settings um, in Genesis. And one of the things I want to cover more specifically is uh, this area here is for header and footer scripts. If you get your website and you want to install Google Analytics yourself, this is where you do it. You come in to a parent or Genesis theme settings. You scroll down into here where it says header and footer scripts. You basically just take the, the AdWords or the analytics code that they give you uh, from Google and you plug it in. Um, to this section and you hit update. It, it literally takes uh, very short periods of time to get this done. That's about all you're most likely going to do in here. If you have any questions about uh, theme settings, make sure you ask us before you start tinkering and around in here too much. Otherwise, you might break your site and then you really have to call us. SEO settings. Again, there's not a lot to change on here. We've set it up pretty much to be the way we think you should have it. So um, this is uh, set up correctly. I'm gonna move on to the next. Homepage settings, basically this is, sorry, I'm still on the SEO, but the homepage settings, this is where you actually change the SEO on your front page of your website. Uh, again, further questions, things like that, uh, you can contact us. And we will have some training on that in the future as well. Um, let's see. That's it for the Genesis uh, block. Now I'm going to jump into the appearance block. And here you'll see uh, themes. So I'll just click that to show you. And what this shows you is there, you, know, um, you can change the look and feel of your website by changing the theme. This is what it comes, WordPress